let's jump into this really complex assembly uh, and see what we can do to try to uh, analyze it. It's going to be kind of a difficult analysis because there's just a lot going on here. Okay, first things first, uh, there is a lid. Uh, this thing has slots along the side for airflow. Uh, we're going to assume free convection, at least initially. Uh, now, this is sheet metal, so we already know we're going to have a problem with leaks kind of in the corners where the bends don't quite overlap. Uh, and in fact, this one, if you'll look even in this button, there's like a, an opening here. So we've got a lot of geometry preparation to do. Let's take a look inside and see we've got a lot of complex shapes. Now the first one that jumps out to me is the circuit board. This is the one that you know, usually has the really messed up geometry. And in fact, if you run uh, check geometry on this, we'll run check geometry in a minute, but you don't even have to guess. This is gonna be all kinds of problems, all kinds of trouble. So for this, what I recommend is just come in here Grab all the bodies except the board and suppress them. Just get rid of them. Um, now, keep in mind, you can always come back and unsuppress that, right? But it at least is going to streamline and simplify. If you get to the point where you're solving a study and that study runs efficiently, then you say, I'd like to have those circuit components in there, that's no problem. Go turn them back on. But always start simple. So our goal is to get this as simplified as we possibly can. So if it's got a lot of bodies, delete or suppress the bodies. What about this guy? This guy has a lot of complex geometry, right? It's got these little hex uh, or cross uh, screws. It's got some of these little uh, features, these slots. I'm gonna use a feature called D feature. D feature is a great way to simplify geometry. Basically, what you can do is say, you know, grab all the holes, um, get rid of all the holes and any other, you know, small geometry, and we're just going to go through and clean everything up quite a bit. Uh, and notice, I didn't really do much of anything other than say, select all holes. Uh, it missed these, but you know, there's some kind of some weird stuff there. I'm going to just call it good uh, because it really did simplify it a lot. I could take some more time to simplify it and get rid of more detail but I'm just going to use this. I'm going to create a new configuration. And what this does is it creates a part configuration that is defeatured. Notice that right there. So let's close this out and go back and use that at the top level. And now we have a simpler model. It's not simpler by a ton, but it's definitely better than where we started, right? A uh, couple other methods you might want to use is delete face. So delete and patch does a nice job of removing things like letters, um, but they can be kind of hard to select all of them. Uh, you can use select by size. So this is great if you have small components. It doesn't work on small bodies, but you could say select by size. And with the select by size, you can turn on dynamic selection and then just drag the box up and down until it grabs only the components that you don't mind losing. So like right here, check this out. This is all the fasteners, um, a couple other little things here and there. It didn't grab all these, uh, these connectors, but that's probably because those are bodies in a multi-body. So I'm gonna suppress all of those. Feeling pretty good so far. Uh, I've got a couple other things I can get rid of, but honestly, at this point, I'm kind of to the point where I'm just like tired, right? Have you ever gotten to that point? You're doing your your job, you get to the point where you're like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. We'll do it live, right? That's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now you're still going to have to deal with the complexity of all this other stuff every time you mesh, but you're not gonna have to worry about it really messing up your solve. 